Well, hello guys, this is Aubrey Cynthia Genesis, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you my home lab. What I've got, this is not really gonna be a huge video because my lab space is limited and the amount of materials and uh, like technique I've got is really small. But anyway, I'm gonna do this video and show what I bought and how much it costs to own this like home room lab, which is really small and crappy. Let's begin with my working place where I do some bio work, the table, well, the, all the stuff is placed that I occasionally or non-occasionally use. Uh, first of all, it is my micro centrifuge, my little boy, this boy costed like 80 bucks, which is really cheap uh, compared to another micro centrifuges. Works very well, so I'm, I'm really proud. Of this big boy. Next, we got some micro pipettes. This is ordinary, like 10 microliter micro pipette. Plastic. It works pretty well. All it needs occasionally some adjusting and making it more stable and something, but for like home lab and stuff that I do here it's more than fine. Next we have this glassware. I have three of them, 250 ml, 250 ml beaker and also 100 ml. Bleach, this is like for my microscope immersion oil. Ethyl alcohol, 70% ethyl alcohol. My kind of stove sink, the fire for sterility works. It's really important because when you work here, you can see that this isn't really like classical lab space. This is more like, how should I say? Like home integrated to lab space. So it's not like 100%, not even like 70% sterile. Everything happens here. So I need something that will provide me a sterility and ability to work in a sterile environment. So for sterility, not only the stove sink, fire, I also got this thing, big boy. It's just a plastic box. I had to get here some glove sinks because it would make it more sterile. But the main idea about it is that you just open it, put some ethyl alcohol sinks that you're gonna work with. If you're doing some plant tissue culture, micropropagation, you definitely need to do thing because even one fungi or even some contamination that may occur in your plant media, it will kill off everything, literally everything, and your, your plant will not survive. Next, let's move on. This is my microscope. It's pretty handy, like it's normal low-cost microscope with immersion lenses uh, it's like apex brand it works pretty well also I have scale this scale ordinary like literally every lab space has this one works pretty well but occasionally needs some tearing and stabilizing here is my outer clay, my big boy. Look at this, it's beautiful. Well, it isn't like classical, uh, frequently used outer clay. This is pressure cooker. Uh, like normally it is used for making some food, but for now, and a lot of people actually, not, not only me, but they are all using it for bio work and sterilization of glassware and some plastic as well here is some water here so it's it boils the water and the stem makes everything dead inside next i've already shown this box and here's my fridge integrated with freezer so it normally didn't have this thermometer so I put this here and it controls the temperature inside as you can see it's normal like one degree Celsius or something here is my material 
some E. coli, BL21, NEB Turbo, modified one, CFP, GFP, RFP, my glasswares with media and stuff. So here are my antibiotic so solutions and also like IPTG, lactose, antibiotics, especially this one I have ampicillin here, is for uh, selection of bacterial uh, cultures, bacterial material, like uh, if you make, uh, if you do a transformation of, uh, plasmid transformation of E. coli or any other bacteria, you'll need to use some uh, antibiotic solution, antibiotics in, in order to make selection, like uh, bacteria that got modified will, ac will acquire antibiotic resistance towards antibiotic, so by adding some amphicillin in this case in media, you will be able to only uh, grow uh, bacteria or micro and other microbes which will be modified and not uh, one set did not got did not get uh, antibiotic resistant genes. Okay. Also, here is my integrated freezer. Here, uh, this is the place for my fro uh, frozen. Uh, antibiotic and IPTG solutions, also some calcium chloride for confident cells and some plasmid and DNA. Here are some lancets, uh, syringes, also some uh, micropipette chips that are pretty cheap actually. Uh, LB bras, uh, LB, no, this is agar agar, galling agent, some inoculation loops uh, for mostly like bacteria and yeast, and like I had water, deionized water, which is actually like empty right now. I've also got this pH meter for uh, mostly tissue culture uh, things, tissue culture experiments. Uh, this, I don't know what it's called for cleaning. Uh, ethyl alcohol solution. Also, tissue culture media. Uh, it's MS media, I suppose. A huge S. Calcium chloride. I've not used this for like a year or something because it's so big. Also, some plates for microscope, and it's all. Yeah, it's all.